These Islamophobes have gone to such extremes that they are now using their free times to police the toilet sessions of Muslims. Instead of trying to clean yourself in the toilet, don't be doing that mate. You want to stay filthy like us. No cleaning mate, just a little wiggle. That's a gender. <laughs> Do you want to speak with confidence like these amazing personalities? Every single one of these amazing speakers have taken the same program with Brother Muhammad Arshad. Muhammad Arshad has helped develop all of us. It's extremely beneficial to do this course. Uh, Definitely recommend this course. Expect to become a better communicator and understanding the underpinnings of effective communication. To access the free life-changing training now. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Boy, these Islamophobes are going to such extremes that not only is it becoming problematic and worrying, but it's becoming comical now as well. Because what they're doing now is they are trying to police our toilet sessions. What? Oh yes indeed. Let's have a look at one of the signs that was spotted in one of France's companies. Let's have a look. For the attention of the users of these toilets, it is customary in France to wipe oneself with the toilet paper at your disposal, then wash your hands with soap and the water. Using your hand to wipe and then wash it with water contained in a plastic bottle is totally contrary to the basic rules of hygiene in force in the company. So the first person who is caught entering these toilets with a filled plastic bottle or cup of water will be very severely punished. Okay, so what they're trying to say is... Mate, you're trying to clean yourself in the toilet. Don't be doing that, mate. Yeah, you want to stay filthy like us. But I can understand to some degree that they think that we go to the toilet with a bottle and we use our hands, then we wash our hands using that bottle. That is absolutely contrary. But before I get to what Muslims actually do, I want to also ask, because you have now established a division with regards to policing people's toilets, are you also going to do number one, which is when people are standing yeah, at the urinals, splashing all over the place, then when they're done, no cleaning mate, just a little wiggle. You know what I'm talking about, just a little wiggle, and they pull up their pants, yeah? And all of these guys leave the urinals with a wet patch in their boxes. Are you also going to be policing that filth? And that same private part is something that is now expected to go in the I'm not going to go into detail just in case there's family viewing. But the people that have understood, they've understood. And then they call this liberation. Are you going to be policing this also? And number two, are you also going to be policing the fact that like you said, just wiping your backside with toilet roll and then pulling up your pants. Subhanallah. What, you expect Muslims to have more skid marks in their boxes than on an F1 racing track? Give me a break. What Muslims, I'll tell you what Muslims do. What Muslims do is when we go to the toilet, we do a number one, we sit down. That's number one because the scientists will tell you that it squeezes the bladder and takes all the urine out. That's the best way to sit down to squat. And then what Muslims do is we let all the droplets come out and then we use tissue. Because there's always one drop, the physicists will be able to tell you, no matter how much you shake it or whatnot, that one drop needs that tissue and then we wash using the water. One, when we do a number two, we do feces. What we do is we get tissue and we clean the excess feces that have been left over. Oh yes, you didn't mention that in that little uh, poster of yours. And then number two, that's when we use water to get rid of the excess. You might be thinking, yo. Firstly, you might be thinking, yo, this is, a, this is fantastic. Because let's face it, it's only France, America and the UK that use only tissue. Everybody else uses a bidet. They use water, but even that is 50-50. Just relying on water is not enough. Tissue roll is also needed as well. What we're doing in this situation is not what's said on the poster. Because as Muslims, a lot of people that accept Islam, they say, Subhanallah, well, glory be to Allah, Islam is so complete that he even tells you how to go to the toilet. This is what we need. We need an instruction manual on how to live our lives effectively. And this is something that Muslims have. And this ironically is being now being used against us. What is the point of using your hand? That's nasty, that's disgusting. What if you were to get feces on your hands? What are you gonna do? Get toilet roll and keep scrubbing it till it R returns less brown? Give me a break. I mean, that's what most of these dons do. Yeah, the first thing you're gonna do, obviously, 
you're, you might use tissue to get rid of the excess and then you're gonna use water. That's what you're going to do. That's what most of the planet does. But Muslims use tissue and we use water as well. So think about it logically, mate. You get feces on your leg, you don't just use tissue. You're not gonna feel comfortable. So the irony that these Islamophobes have gone to such extremes that they are now using their free times to police the toilet sessions of Muslims. This was obviously referring to Muslims because Muslims are the only ones that go into the toilet with a water bottle. Yeah, and that water bottle is used obviously to pour as we clean ourselves instead of, of course, a bidet. What can I say? These French people are absolutely cuckoo now. Yeah, with the amount of hatred that they have, it's just becoming ridiculous. And it's not only the French. Switzerland have, have banned minarets. I mean, what have minarets done to anyone? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Banning headscarves and hijabs. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you guys have benefited from this. <laughs> All we can do is just laugh at the ignorance of these people and continue to give them da'wah and advise them and show them Islam. Yes, like Habib Naramagomedov said, they don't read the Quran, they don't read the Hadith, they read you. Oh yes, they read you, the Muslim people. So let us implement Islam. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.